Three multi-million dollar contracts to build the next generation of space rockets, dubbed Venture Class. Among those selected, Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic and Firefly Space Systems of Cedar Park, Texas. Joining us now is Firefly co-founder and CEO, Tom Markusik. Tom, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. How big of a deal is this partnership with NASA? This is a big deal, and it's, it's not just a big deal for Firefly. You know, this really represents a great collabor collaboration between industry and the government. So. NASA gets the science that it needs, and it also simultaneously stimulates a great new industry. So it really ultimately benefits everyone. I know at Firefly to have NASA as our first customer is, is a big deal, and it's really energizing our team. Wow, congratulations. Is there anybody else who can do that? Well, we have some competitors, yeah. and, and she had mentioned uh, Virgin Galactic. Uh, there's another company called Rocket Lab that's yeah. competing, and, you know, it's an old cliche, but, you know, competition is good. Yeah. And, can you spend a little bit of time like explaining what it is that you do, what these small satellites are? Well, you know, um, we generally think of space in the context of exploration, little rovers on Mars or men landing on the moon, but that's about to dramatically change. Really the next step in the information revolution is going to take place from space. So the data that we're so hungry for is going to be increasingly transmitted and disseminated from space. Now there are some uh, really great uh, things going on in Silicon Valley where they're creating these small satellites that are low cost and small and very effective, but the barrier to entry is still getting to space and that's where Firefly and companies like Virgin Galactic come in. So if you think of Firefly, I'd like you to think of Firefly as the Uber for space. Mm -hmm. Now that's a big deal, right? So what does it actually mean for people here on planet Earth? What does it mean that we're sending these mini satellites, mini rockets into space? What does it mean for us here? It has profound social and economic implications. Right now, upwards of 70% of the world don't even have access to the internet. 70% so. of the world? Yes. Wow. Yeah, we're very lucky here. Um, so what that means is we now have the democratization of information, the potential for that, where people around the world can yeah. share ideas. You know, there, if anybody's watched the Firefly movie, there's one scene where the, the guy says you can't stop the signal. <laughs> and truly, you won't be able to stop the signal of information. Mm -hmm. But the other part is this, is it opens up a lot of uh, economic opportunity in that we can now access all these people and sell them products. So how, it's how, many, companies, do, how many co uh, companies are coming to you specifically saying, hey, this would be really cool to give a bunch of people in China the internet. It, there are a lot of companies, most of them are coming out of Silicon Valley, but literally dozens of them. And we're, the phone's ringing off the hook, especially with this VCLS announcement, a lot of excitement. Yeah. Talk mm -hmm. about the rocket technology for a second. Uh, uh, when we watch these things go up, and Elon Musk yeah. had some problems recently, um, are, you, are you worried about the efficacy of these rockets on the private side? Yeah, we're radically changing the way rockets are done. You know, right now they're disposable, um, non-reusable vehicles, and it, it's really just kind of crazy. You know, I flew up here from Austin. I paid uh, an airline a couple hundred bucks to fly up here. Um, if we had done it the way they do it in rocketry, I would have called up the airplane manufacturer, said, hey, make me an airplane. We would have flown it up here, and then we would have taken it to the edge of the runway and burned it. <laughs> so that's, believe it or not, that's the way the rocket industry works now. So what Firefly is going to do is we are going to bring mass production methodologies and reusability, reusability into space access, and that's what's going to drive the cost down. We're also going to make use of modern technologies. Um, if you look at rockets right now, the electronics on them are archaic and they cost millions of dollars. But if you look at something like our cell phones, um, the technology that's in here, there's $50 billion worth of research. For thousands of dollars, we can put that on our rocket and drive the cost of the rocket down and make it even more effective. Wow. So you are a true life rocket scientist. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> and now an entrepreneur. I love it. Tom, good luck. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you so much for joining us. Tom uh, Markusik there.